Oh. Uh, so I was telling my buddy that uh, I was just watching a documentary on uh, beavers. Best damn documentary I've ever seen. Oh, hey there. My name is Shafe, and I'm joined side, alongside Two Kill for Ori. Rando. Master Tournament. Otherwise known as RMT. And today we have, <laughs> oh, <hello. laughs> today we have uh, the person who died versus Rubioshi, aka dead person versus red dinosaur. Uh, this is going to be our second match of the tournament. This is going to determine who faces the winner of Baron versus Infinite, uh, which will be happening, I believe, on the weekend. We also have later on today liftoff versus Tumen, and by later on today I mean, uh, what is it, eight hours from now? So, depending where you are, it's either today or tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, so, two kill. What have the runners said about the race today? Well, uh, we have asked both in advance, and uh, both have answered. Um, both don't really know what to expect. Well, that's kind of expectable from a master tournament, not gonna lie. Um, it is a very unpredictable set to play on, after all. Uh, Rubiyoshi with this is his first tournament and he feels kind of a bit pressured about it, especially facing off against the person who died who has been making incredible times throughout the weekly, so uh, he isn't quite sure about that. But person on his side has said that he has some tricks where he's not that comfortable with. Even just 10 minutes ago got a, got a briefing on how to do... Um, uh, grenade fast sumpless, so oh, he's nice. hoping that that might not come up. Um, but <laughs> other than that, they're just hoping to have fun. Yeah, the, most of the tricks in Master, if I would say, if you're like experienced, you've played a few seeds, you're probably going to be okay with, but there is a few that uh, are definitely harder than others. Uh, Iceless obviously is the big one, I think, for a lot of people. Um, and then grenade redirects, I would personally put as second, but a lot of the other stuff, uh, you know, particularly the triple jump tech that's required is, uh, not too bad. So, uh, runners can, if, uh, they are ready, get, uh, the countdown started and then we will get going. And, uh, yeah, should be a good time. I'm looking forward to this one. I have no idea what the caliber of their uh, their timings are in Master Seeds at all. Uh, we do expect, typically speaking, for uh, Master Seeds to go anywhere between about an hour and a quarter to two hours. Uh, so somewhere in there, but uh, it's, it's all dependent on what the seed gives you. Uh, if it's your first time watching uh, Master Seeds, they tend to give you somewhat linear progression uh, and they do prefer hard paths so uh, your progression is likely to be gated behind some dumb trick um, at least after the early game and uh, yeah that's uh, that's about all I gotta say about that so we'll just uh, get ready to go here and what do you think we have to ask the age old question what do you think the first skill is gonna be the first skill okay um yeah, we're gonna start with something horrible, like wall jump or climb. <laughs> I'm gonna see it happening. Um, just some really, really terrible start where it takes forever to find the next thing. Uh, not quite bash, because bash would be too powerful, but something really annoying like climb or, or wall jump. I, I want to see double jump wall interaction, personally. Don't see enough oh, that of would that. Be fun. And, and Master Seeds have a tendency to do that a lot more often than Expert will. Um, Expert obviously doesn't force double jump while interaction. Well, Master is the one that does that, but uh, you tend to get double jump sometimes in Expert Seeds uh, without all interaction, and you can just sequence break to your heart's content with that. But uh, yeah, uh, looking forward to seeing what we do get. Runners are off and away. Uh, we're going to have Person Who Died on the left. You're going to see Beta top left. Uh, Sorrow TP start is very interesting. Uh, we are playing on 4.0. Uh, all the accessibility features are available to the runners, including free grenade jumps, uh, so on and so forth. But they do not have access to the in-game logic helper, which is a feature that was added in 4.0. But other than that, everything is uh, good to go for them. Uh, one of the other key differences you're going to see right off the bat here after the collect sign is the new functionality of Alt-R which instead of returning you to the start of the game is going to open up the teleporter menu. 
and uh, that is functionally uh, very different in the way that you execute things. Like, for example, trying to sequence break into Death Gauntlet is significantly different because you, you know, when you alt our return to start, it's just right there off to your right, but uh, you have to work back to the Glades teleporter, which makes it a lot slower. But no skill yet, just the Keystone and the Sorrow TP. Uh, I'm kind of thinking maybe we might get a early climb charge jump start here and uh, some sorrow shenanigans with a lot of HP. Yeah, that would be interesting to see uh, Master, of course, offering a lot of variety in terms of starts because you can do so many more shenanigans if you know how to. Uh, but for now, we definitely need some progression in the next two, two uh, things and it looks like it will just be a second keystone. So let's see what they find in those two keystones right here and whether we can go further into yeah. plates. And there it is, second keystone. Classical start opens uh, the way to more pickups to potentially more health, as you alluded to, or maybe some other form of progression. Ability cells will also be a lot of in the seat since uh, Master also takes everything into account that is in the green tree. So uh, triple jump, charge dash, as well as ultra defense can be on the table if you have enough ability points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, isn't there? You see the altar with the warp to start. Uh, ooh, Ruby with the map markers start instead of going for uh, rekindle, which is an interesting decision. Uh, we saw that come into play a little bit yesterday with some farming required for uh, triple jump. See whether or not that comes down the pipe. Usually, it's not. A big concern unless you start ha investing heavily into the purple tree, but uh, we'll end up seeing how that pans out for now. Fairly standard stuff, that 3 HP swim is in Logic and Master, uh, so getting Wind Restored there early is indeed valid. And we get another Keystone here. We're gonna be dropping down kind of a little bit of a small bit of back and forth between the runners uh, in the early going, which you expect just uh, off the basis of some of these small movement differences. And it looks like person is going to end up being the first to the map altar. A uh, small quality of life difference here uh, is that uh, the map doesn't actually pop up. You don't have to escape out of that. Uh, it just allows you to go straight through. Ooh, blue break is nice to get early, uh, particularly since, you know, you want to clear everything as you can in one sweep if possible. The getting charge flame here is quite nice. And early divergence, Ruby's going to double back and see what's at the charge flame uh, tree XP. And person is going to continue on to check at least this experience on the left hand side. Yeah, interesting indeed. Um, charge flame, of course, with the second skill or third skill rather. Oh, and there it is. <laughs> well, interaction, blue break start, everyone. Settle in. This can be a while. <laughs> yep. Um, uh, so we'll be back in about uh, 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're going to have to find something to chat about for sure. Um, but yeah, Touch Flame is really nice as it is free in the randomizer if you have the third ability in the blue tree. But with that, we get two trees at the same or roughly the same time. Uh, clean water on wall jump tree, so that is definitely something that Ruby will pick up since that is an absolutely mandatory pickup. But mm. it's interesting to see, um, especially since person will have to leave some stuff behind, so it seems like Ruby's uh, uh, way of going about things is definitely a bit faster here. Yeah, that's a pretty heads up play from Ruby. That's an experience thing. Uh, when you get Sea Flame in the wall jump loop area, or a grenade. Typically speaking, it means that there's something behind that blue wall first thing. And uh, Ruby, making that read, goes and gets Climb. Uh, it opts to go into Spirit Caverns first, uh, which is okay if he ends up getting uh, a way to access Grotto without having to come back through here, but this will lose him time if he has to backtrack in there. The Clean Water doesn't lead to anything other than an ability cell for a person, so progression for Clean Water is deeper in the seed, but that's nice to have in Master. Because uh, you don't have to worry as much about uh, skilling ultra defense. Uh, so that's something that the runners can maybe keep back of mind uh, as the seed progresses on. This climb ramp is uh, dirty to try and get for Ruby. Uh, there's a micro ledge there that uh, he can sit on. There's a little notch that you can see there. And uh, if you just kind of tap your climb button, uh, it's a lot easier to just get that micro ledge and then jump on over. It seems like Ruby is not aware of it, uh, and that's okay. It's just a knowledge thing, but he's going to take a, a few attempts at uh, doing this climb round, which is in logic for him to do. 
And so Person in the meantime is caught up to the sea flame tree. We'll see whether or not he decides to alt our climb and head in the blackguard here. Or uh, maybe do some cleanup in the wall jump area that uh, he wasn't able to do before. Yeah, Ruby's still going. Oh, and got it. Just as I started talking, um, gets a health cell. And as you alluded to, uh, having clean water is really nice because we don't have to worry about taking those long dips with a lot of HP. But HP is still absolutely required and logic. Every type of damage boost that you can possibly do is probably in logic. Just... Everything is in logic if you can do it, pretty much, <laughs> unless it's glitched. Yeah, blue and... fire is in logic, actually, with uh, damage boost, so... Going into other games with it. So we're going to see a few checks here from Ruby on the right side of your screen that uh, we did not get from person. Isn't going to go for the little mini iceless uh, there, uh, or baby... I think this one is baby iceless, and then mini iceless is the one in outer swamp. Uh, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, so we're going to see a couple extra checks here, plus the energy cell down at wall jump tree that uh, person didn't get. Hopefully that's nothing of import. Uh, I imagine it probably isn't, just by the nature of Master Seed progression, but uh, we'll have to see how that is. Person, in the meantime, uh, is going to be altering back to the teleporter to go into Black Route and continue the top side of things. As we just get uh, some resources here, a little bit of XP and a keystone, and then this map stone for person is another keystone. Yeah, so that's probably just uh, indicating to go and push up top side of Sea Flame and then head to the right side, I would imagine. Yeah, it could be anything really. The seat still, of course, needs to make sure that you don't get self blocked on keystones. Uh, so just making sure to get enough. But so far, a person not getting anything of interest as well. Besides, of course, that clean water that Ruby is about to get. But, oh, actually, Ruby is first getting that energy cell. 20 XP, nothing important there. So we'll follow into person's uh, footsteps and also go into Blackroot Burrows, most likely, before heading possibly back into uh, Spirit Caverns and go around that way. So... Yeah, it looks like we will still search for, but this is... Master is inherently starved, so we will not find any skills randomly, most likely. Just like, as you mentioned, linear progression and uh, in hard areas, and none of the things our runners are currently doing is considered hard by the logic. Uh, friendly reminder, we are doing Forest Trees competitive here, so uh, other than the sea difficulty, we are doing basically standard tournament stuff. Uh, Ruby does double back for the long flippers and then wants to head into Blackheart. I was going to say that uh, he was might be doing an aggressive play and just heading straight back up into Spirit Caverns, but looks like he wanted to get that uh, one check. Uh, probably a little bit on the inefficient side of routing, uh, just because with the Keystone count, that's an indicator you probably are going to be forced to do Spirit Caverns, but... Uh, also, sometimes, you know, you're in a race and you just don't want to panic. We do get the clue for the water vein, by the way, uh, is in Horu. So, that's a thing. And, uh, master level Horu <laughs> and the sunstone right behind it. Amazing. Alright, well, uh, welcome to the next two hours, folks. <laughs> we're going to spend 45 minutes running around with a climb blue break, and then we're going to go in Horu. <laughs> Yeah, this, this, this is definitely a seed to be seen, and uh, I hope you all have your snacks ready and mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and your drinks, because don't go anywhere for the next two hours, because it doesn't seem like it will be finished soon, unless we get, like, bash, or even bash, I don't, I don't think would solve our problems. Um, just make it faster, <laughs> possibly, maybe. This is interesting from Ruby taking the orb through the lasers. I don't think this is faster with the new altar, but uh, if you get the fast cycle coming back here, it might actually be close. Uh, which, I don't know, that's just a fascinating play for me. Uh, we're going to get another energy cell, uh, which is disturbing to my eyeballs because person has a mega energy, so I don't think it's more than two base energy. Uh, might want to use this actually to just head straight into Grotto because that's uh, where progression seems to be indicating. But whether or not he'll abandon Spirit Caverns as the process remains to be seen. Ruby, in the meantime, is going to be trailing behind in Blackroot. Uh, Franky Stump on this boulder to see what's behind that, of course. 
and then head off to the teleporter. Make sure you grab that. Uh, another ability cell, always nice to have in case you need to do some zombie shenanigans. And persons elected to follow logic, it seems, placing the save there manually to skip the cutscene. Uh, so unless he plans on glitching the energy door, uh, it looks like Grotto is not going to be happening for him. He's going to be chasing this off to Sea Flame. Just 18 XP underneath the boulder, and Marvin stays alive. Good thing. Uh, very annoying to get XP on that pickup and have a level up explosion kill him when you might need him around. And yep, person's going to be first out of Black Root. Uh, still has wall jump loop left to go. So while it seems like person is ahead, and he probably is a little bit. Uh, just because of the time Ruby spent trying to get that climb ramp in Spirit Caverns. Uh, it is not quite as drastic as it seems. And Ruby getting the clue as well, <laughs> jiggling around with his mouse, probably indicating, well, either excitement or, uh, well, what exactly is the opposite? <laughs> Whatever the opposite is. Uh, <laughs> fear, terror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I could totally read those into that reaction. Um, but as you mentioned, Rubo, they are kind of switching places right now where a person is doing the wall jump loop is going to go for mini baby isolates. Wow! Okay. Very nice. Uh, it's apparently not a hard trick at all. <laughs> it's actually easier with climb than it is with wall jump for reasons I don't understand. Uh, but that is a thing. And so. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure whether or not a person would have gone for it with wall jump, some runners don't, uh, and others go for it with uh, both wall jump and climb. But yeah, that one's not too bad, uh, all things considered. I do like the play from Ruby, by the way, even though he misses the drop down there. Uh, what he did is that he placed a save at the uh, lever glitch, and he was going to go and check these two pickups, the XP up top and then the black root uh, main AC, and if it's nothing, then just backload it and gets the sunstone of course so he's not going to be able to do that oh takes the death though uh will he just come back for it later because that would have been an option no he's going to go for it directly now. so maybe the drop down was by accident just like autopiloting yeah maybe <laughs> oh no okay i think he's just uh yeah. i'm not sure that that especially early on in a seed can really disturb the way you're thinking about a seed yeah. So hopefully he doesn't take that as too bad of a hit. Okay, I, th I think what he's doing here is that he's just going to remember that the Sunstone's there. And he's going to take this energy and uh, break into Grotto. There's the micro ledge, by the way, on person's side, left side of your screen. as he tapped uh, his climb button real quick and uh, got it within a couple of attempts. Uh, very nicely done. Looks like he's probably gonna, yeah, because he's only got two energy now, didn't keep the rest of the mega energy. So we're gonna be, see a split here. Ruby's just gonna remember where the Sunstone is and come back for it later once Horu is in logic. And uh, head into Grotto in the meantime while well, person is gonna sort of chase the intended path here. Uh, level, I didn't see what he leveled up here, that was quick menuing. And gonna check Valley Entry first, the only thing he can check here uh, in logic is this plant, I believe, with the good enough ramp, and then, uh, of course, this pickup underneath the log here. Uh, you can't, with just climb, get up to the XP above the tree, uh, unless there's a, some jank-ass fronky damage boost I don't know about, which is possible. And he gets a third energy cell, so can decide to glitch out the mm -hmm. um, door now. So also has, an, has a way into Grotto if he decides to. Loses it, unfortunately. Those deaths in the early game without dash and without a lot of skills can lose quite a bit, especially if you have to defend yourself against those enemies. Uh, 4 HP still on either side is really worrying, kind of, since uh, that, is a f that is a little amount for Master specifically, since Master tends to give you more uh, health, since it's required in Logic. Um, so it will be interesting to see. There's energy cell number two on Ruby, Ruby's side, so... Yeah, so that's four total that we've seen in the seed. Yep. Interesting oh. from Ruby did not uh, glitch the bridge, uh, just elected to take the drop down straight. So if he's going to check the water vein pickups, uh, he's going to have to backtrack for those. Cutscene skip for person. Uh, I don't believe he essayed that. I wasn't keeping an eye on it. If he didn't, he's going to keep the teleporter. If he did, then he... Uh, would be moving already. So yeah, he's elected to keep the teleporter. 
And nothing here so far in Grotto on Ruby's side. Has not gone to check the Grotto miniboss just yet. Is going to go straight to wall jump instead. And, uh, sorry, straight to the double jump tree and uh, see what's there. The person in the meantime is going to get our first look at Spider Sack. I will have an opportunity to glitch the energy door there uh, for progression vaults. So we'll see if anything is indeed progression. And while a person goes for this climb ramp, uh, there is another micro ledge that you can get there, but the jump is super tricky to do. Just an ability stop on the double jump tree for Ruby, and uh, we'll see where he goes now. Yeah, person getting the ramp, skilling free flame now, pretty much, so he can get infinite sea flames. Uh, not restricted to energy right there. I am not sure if Ruby already has that. If he doesn't, he definitely wants it right now because Grotto is the place to use sea flame in. Um, oh, that's a sick setup. I haven't seen that. Ruby actually just kind of stood on the edge of the bridge there. Uh, dropping down slightly to where the bracket for the bridge is and then jumped off of that to gain access to the right side. Uh, very nicely done. Sorry to interrupt, go ahead. Oh yeah, that, that actually looked super neat as well. 100 XP, uh, is this even randomized? Um, person on the left going for the energy glitch as mentioned. He needs to put it in the frame he leaves the door. Or sign leaves the door rather. Mm -hmm. and Glitches there it is. like that aren't in logic for Master, by the way. Just so this is going to be technically out of logic for him, but we ex we know that uh, there's four energy in total uh, available right now between both of the runners. So uh, in logic between them, but as far as person knows, uh, not a logical pickup. Oh, uh, interesting! <laughs> uh, somehow uh, Ruby managed to uh, break that cutscene uh, and now has a partially invisible floor there for the drop down. Kind of struggled with that for a second. Uh, I've seen that happen with Dash a lot of the time. I haven't seen that happen without Dash. That's hilarious. Oh, and according to Chet, it is in logic with two energy um, and magnet, since you can destroy the uh, crystal yeah. on top. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, well, yeah, the door is in logic, uh, but I was referring specifically to energy glitching. Yeah, that but, is fair. But yeah, the door um, is in logic. Thank you, Infinite. Energy glitches, well, glitches of any kind, of course, aren't in uh, Masters specifically. Uh, unless you put in glitched, of course. But uh, I, that is always impressive to me, like how easily some of the glitches are done and how they are still not in Master. Um, mm -hmm. Which, understandably, uh, so you don't want to have your game completely glitched out, right? You don't just want people to go... Uh, do weird stuff that is considered glitches but then again where's the line between glitches and not uh, looking at you glitchless category <laughs> um, <laughs> an ability Speaking. cell in grotto i don't know what the ability cell count is right now i know that person tried to keep track of it earlier when he did some practice but uh with all the pickups that you're getting it's really hard to keep track of yeah, health isn't as big a concern, uh, so you're not necessarily as worried about ability cells for, for the purposes of Ultra Defense. Uh, and Ruby uh, showcasing that for us moments ago with a zombie ori to get the uh, XP in the teeth section there. It's the left of the grotto teleporter. Now he's going to backtrack and finish what he didn't do before uh, here in the black root area. Might be thinking to do a very early reverse Marvin walk, which would be fascinating to see. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to be getting our first checks here in Grove for a person who's now up to 8 HP. And our first map stone, fairly late uh, as far as acquiring map stones go, is uh, there at the Baneling pickup for person. And uh, he's got access to a very quick map stone in short order, just over to his right. So we'll see whether or not that pays off. Uh, oh Ruby going for a God. different setup on this... Uh, on this wall that I haven't seen before. This The climb ramp here isn't easy. There is another micro ledge that you can do that's tough to get. Um, there's a backflip that you can do if you position yourself just uh, to the right of the mushrooms there, and it will get you directly onto the micro ledge. Uh, thanks to Smashy for showing me that one. Yeah, that one, that setup was very interesting to see on the side of Ruby. Wow, that that setup I've also never seen to, let, to just let the boulder go uh, above you. <laughs> um, nice replay. Working like a nice replay, damage. Apple. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> mm. um, 
oh, Ruby is placing the safe, kind of indicating that he might want to go for a uh, early Franky walk. Very interesting. There isn't a whole lot that he can do other than getting grenade tree, but I do like the aspect of just going and getting grenade tree to try and push for clues early. Uh, and we do see that 47 experience on the first map stone turn in that uh, person got as well. Uh, so, yep, that save and... Nope, Marvin dies, so yep, that's exactly what he's going for. He wants to set this up, check the uh, 18 experience that is behind this boulder first, and then probably go for Marvin. Uh, out of Swamp in the meantime, for a person on the right side of your screen, as we continue our sojourn with Simply Climb and Charge Flame, which is more or less anticipated. Eyes on the right side as Ruby looks like he's going to first try this reverse Franky. Oh, no! Oh, Marvin jumps too high! You, oh. you cursed it, no! <laughs> he was Marvin, so far, why? he got so far. <laughs> But if he can pull it up, uh, pull it off once, he can pull it off twice. So I believe in him. Um, just needs to be very careful about everything. This is incredibly <laughs> yeah, hard. Yeah. All the things. Uh, after all. Looks like he's got a very consistent setup for the initial jump over the spikes. Uh, oh, so, oh. But yeah, uh, that time Marvin decides to uh, go and get a haircut. Uh, ability cell for a person, just resources, continuing onwards. Where will progression be? I do believe uh, that with our clean water and climb, that taking Igor for a walk uh, to go to Buttercell is a thing that you not only can do, but is in logic from for the runners right now, which is increasingly looking like likelihood for progression. I love it. Yeah, for some reason, Master really likes to put something on Buttercell, um, especially if you have clean water. You, you only like you literally only need access to that area and either five HP or clean water. You can do it without any skill at all. And uh, yeah, that's something that Master tends to do since it chooses the hard paths. And uh, luring Igor twice is definitely hard. And yeah. Ruby gets his hurry trick as well, did the reverse Fronky walk saved afterwards, so doesn't have to do it again and will continue towards Grenade Tree as person is doing miscellaneous other stuff. Backing up her save, good call, good call, does need to uh, do some um, save anywhere. If you do it late enough, you only need one and he gets it, no problem nice. at all. That is, the single save zombie there is not easy. Um, two save is relatively free uh, if you're an experienced rapid runner, but uh, the single save definitely takes some practice and Ruby just nails it. Uh, it places another save here, which uh, interestingly enough, I don't know of a way with just climb that you can get across these lasers. So Ruby, please educate me. Uh, it looks like he's going to find that out too. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't quite get anything. He could get the pickups under the long laser. Uh, which of course means that he used his safe anywhere without any yeah. purpose. Yeah, well, I mean, he did have the backup save there if he wanted to reload it. Um, has elected not to. He's just going to bail on it. And actually, leveling oh. up in the orange tree... Uh, which you don't see that often. That tells me we're going to see Grotto Miniboss here uh, in short order. Yeah, if only we had pause floats here. Uh, I think we'll first see that Sea Flame Burn here that you don't actually need Sea Flame Burn for. I'm not sure if Ruby is aware. But uh, yeah, R Ruby knows time. that for sure, but that might be a uh, dash plant thing as well in the future. Oh. What Sea Flame Burn would get him uh, with a damage boost off of a Franke is the Death Gauntlet Roof Plant. Oh, that is interesting. Um, yeah, Ruby going back to start and going upwards. I'm not sure what his idea is, but person glitching out the bridge and gets it nicely. I do believe that the timing in 4.0 is quite differently. So. Uh. I'm not sure about that. I haven't played 4.0 yet. Yeah, uh, same on my side. So maybe Truck can help us out there. And Ruby apparently deciding that uh, Spirit Caverns is the way to go after all. 
Well, we unfortunately know there isn't a lot there either. Um, the, now I'm baffled by the seaplane burn pickup. Oh, uh, there is one more pickup you can do with seaplane burn relatively easily. That's the valley entry plant. Ooh, yeah, that could be it. Maybe I also just decided he had a lot of points already. And since there isn't any double jump or dash just yet. Yeah, and clean water. You don't have to worry about health as much. Um, yeah. Worth noting, person is actually going to be able to check uh, two pickups here that we did not see on Ruby's side. Uh, with that four energy and or uh, some rock slide shenanigans. Uh, we did not see the energy cell or the experience uh, behind this energy door. So uh, possible that progression is here. I'm thinking it's unlikely, but it could be a thing. Ruby finally getting on four energy. That has to feel comfy man for him. And ooh, person taking uh, a little bit too much damage there. I don't know where his save was last. Back oh. at the water vein. That's a bit of a time loss. Ouch. I mean, it makes sense since you need the four energy for the door, but still definitely if a feels Batman uh, moment. We'll try I need to go back there, and especially since he didn't get a chance to see what those pickups were. And he might also want to keep that ability cell that was mm -hmm. uh, in those XP. Or yeah. was it even an ability cell? Well, yeah, I, I don't know in my vanilla pickups. <laughs> yeah, the vanilla ability cell there, so... Ooh, Ruby very nicely done with that uh, ramp up to the lever. I uh, gets it very, very quickly. Uh, we know he's not going to find anything there, unfortunately for him. Uh, we've already seen those checks on person's side, including the pickup under Spider Lake. And, yeah, unless something... It looks like person... Oh, I see what he's doing. He wants to try... Okay, never mind. He's just bailing on it. Okay. Uh, I'm, I, I have a confusion. <laughs> Looked like he was trying to glitch that energy door and then come back for it later. But then he just climb ramped. Oh, that's one of the more difficult climb ramps that he pulled off, by the way. Oh, kudos to Burson for nailing that one. Uh, only other check that we haven't seen in the grotto area, uh, besides those two behind the vault, is uh, Mini Boss. And will we see it from person or will he go up? He will go up, so mini boss gets to wait a little bit more. Mapstone 2, by the way, was an ability cell. Yeah, nothing in the form of progression, but we aren't at the 40 minute mark, so uh, quite as expected. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as both runners just pick up more XP, XP not as valuable. As mentioned, we will be getting a lot of ability cells throughout the beginning of the seed. It's very likely that everything will just be ability cells or health cells. Mm -hmm. um, Ruby getting more health. And in Spider Lake now, we will see whether he decides to take Igor for a ride or whether he has other uh, things to do for now. Person I'm... now getting towards double jump tree. So that will equalize them on uh, tree progress. But really, Master can come down to that one trick that you want to do or don't want to do. So. Sure. Yeah, whoever finds the next bit of progression first definitely has an advantage. Uh, I'm still baffled by the sea flame burn from Ruby because didn't even go check Valley Entry Plant. <laughs> I just I, I I don't know why he got it now. <laughs> so many things he could have checked with it. <laughs> it's just remain unused. I'm I'm baffled. Uh, I'm sure there's a reason for it. I I thought it was going to be Grotto Mini Boss or something, but. Uh, he will undoubtedly uh, prove me to be an idiot at some point in the near future with uh, the reasoning behind it. So uh, He's going to be catching up on the resources that we've seen on Person's side. Uh, going to be on 8 HP now as well as 4 energy. Uh, person does have one more energy on top of that. And looks like Person is going to be doubling back down now to uh, the Grotto Vault area. Oh, uh, left off actually... Uh, bringing up a good point that Ruby tried the plants uh, next to the Grotto TP uh, with Sea Flame Burn, which uh, was not able to get. I th I don't know if that's a sign RNG thing, um, but yeah, that was probably the play there. Thank you very much. Left Rock off. slide on the side of person. Yeah. Didn't quite first try. At Zemsis and Jet. Ooh, Ooh, very nice done. Try. Well done. Well done. Uh, gets 93 XP and 88 XP, so 
Unfortunately, not quite worth the trouble, but at least he knows, at least it's not in the back of his mind. And, ooh, Igor on the right side. Yeah. All right, this is what I anticipate progression is gonna be, like we mentioned off the top of the broadcast. Master does prefer hard pass. This is a hard path trick. And Ruby almost nails it. Oh, the Frankie just slid off the side. You know what? Oh, I was gonna say we didn't have a name for this Frankie, but it's Igor. I have a brain cell, I promise. Uh, jump up, jump up. Okay. You, this is very finicky to get, especially if you don't have air stall like glide or double jump. You gotta kind of just delay your movement off to the left. Uh, just a hairball. And uh, then Igor will follow you afterwards. Looking for a damage boost strat here, possibly. In the meantime, we're gonna see some damage boost strats from Person as well, heading over towards the lower swamp entry access does have a plant that they can uh, get there keeps the spider alive which is important for the sea flame redirect that will be forthcoming so we are seeing uh some of those hard paths uh coming into play now on both sides of your screen in different areas which is super fascinating <gasps> ruby almost gets eager into the right position but unfortunately igor also has a chair um <laughs> that chair hits very hard Needs to be uh, unless it's the boob chair. If it's the boob chair, it'll hit a bit softer. Yeah, yeah, but but still, in in a, in such a situation, you don't really want to be hit by it. I feel like, even if it's the boob chair. Even if it's the boob chair, I do believe. Uh, okay, no, person gets over that. I was gonna think that maybe he would uh, set up for a backup save to see what that is, and uh, he wants to keep it because it is. Was that a map stone? Yes, it yes, was a map, map stone. stone. Yeah, so he wants to keep it. And there could be progression on Mapstone 3, for all we know. Um, yep, very well could be. Uh, and they do have access to the uh, Swamp Mapstone altar with uh, the Sea Flame Redirect, so... Uh, <laughs> we could see something in, the, in that swim as well. Uh, so some hard tricks, sit back, relax, have your tea, your coffee, your water, make sure you stay hydrated or caffeinated, whatever it is that you need for the time of day that you live in currently. As uh, this is gonna probably take a bit for the runners to get. These aren't easy tricks on either side. Uh, Ruby going for the Igor walk to stop the peg and the sea flame redirect from person on the left. It's gonna be a matter of who gets it first. Density is gonna go in favor of person. He's gonna have the entirety of the swamp swim available to him, while Ruby is only gonna be able to get butter cell with this. But uh, either one could pay off. Uh, step one is done for Ruby. Has forgotten that you need the Franke, uh to continue on and actually collect Butter Cell. Uh, so he's going to have to wait for Igor to respawn and then come back down here, which is... Yeah, uh, he's he's going to notice in a second and be sad. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh no! Side... Double C Flame redirect off the spider oh shot! Oh my god! Brain play is for Ruby first try! <laughs> That is insane. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and he used the sea flame burn. Okay, that was wow. Very nicely done from Ruby. Uh, climb, charge, jump, and oh, by the way, he has the sorrow TP. So he's got a lot that he can do now. He can hit so many trees. Uh, um, depending on where the water vein is in Ohoru, this is. Getting close to go mode, it's super awful, uh, but it's almost there. Yeah, it's not quite doable. I do believe that the final escape is not... You, you need a little bit more for the final escape. Yeah, yeah, yeah but imagine him finding grenade. <laughs> yeah, a grenade is go mode. A grenade's probably in Misty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or her. <laughs> Or Hort, could be an Hort, or so could behind be that water vein. Oh, yeah, uh, water vein stump locked, probably. Could be a thing, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, Team Forlorn, anyone? Maybe? Ooh, Team Forlorn. <laughs> oh, God, grenade jump, Forlorn. <laughs> oh, that would be so good to get the stomp clue. Uh, I love it. Okay, but um, basically, what the state of the race is, Ruby has. A big advantage depending on when person decides to do this horrible horrible trick uh this could be really really big since this is most likely the only progression they have in the seed since yet again it is a starved uh variant of the randomizer yippers 
Uh, I think we're going to see Grotto Miniboss here shortly from person. Uh, Ruby, in the meantime, has everything available to him on the right-hand side, uh, including a Stomp Tree. I believe the only thing he can't check over there is the pickup under the log. Uh, and the grenade lock pickup, of course. And But otherwise, he's got a lot of pickups uh, to go for, which will probably be nothing. Uh, <laughs> who knows? I, I expect Sorrow, left side Sorrow. That's where I'm going to call it. Left side Sorrow is going to be the next progression. Let's yeah, see. we will find out for sure. This is not quite enough to get into Haru, I believe. So for the time being, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, I don't think that is quite possible on the side of Ruby. We'll have to wait for the spitter to respawn. There it is. So can check that. I do believe we saw those from person. Yeah, I'm not entirely those. sure. So yeah. that of so, so course was not picked up by person, but it's only 20 XP. A save yeah. anywhere. And into the purple tree. Interesting. Ruby might be going for sense here. Um, that is uh, a big risk, uh, especially like just not, not not so much going for the purple tree, but spending those ability points right now. Um, unless he got all the way to um, spirit light efficiency, but even then, because of the likelihood that you're going to want to keep those ability points for zombie Ori, I wouldn't. I, I'm hesitant on that, but it might pay off for him. Uh, he does have a lot of checks to get yet. Uh, so, in all likelihood, is going to pick up some extra ability cells. And, uh, in fact, did get one there as well as <laughs> the level up off the Rhino. So, plus two on the ability cell count. And the Swamp Swim coming up ahead of him. So, there's four pickups there. And uh, then the Stomp Tree. Looks like he's going to head towards the Stomp Tree first. I was going to say, uh, I do like what Person had uh, as an idea. He was getting a little bit frustrated with uh, this Sea Flame redirect and opted to go to the Grotto mini boss and just kind of take a break from it for a second, see what, if there was anything there, and then came back to it. Uh, nice little just sort of mental trick that you can you can do to kind of clear your brain before you go back to the hard stuff. So uh, well done on both sides. And I mean, this is exactly what person kind of feared, uh, the redirect. And there's go mode. grenade! A Next unless the water vein is stomp okay, locked, this is, this is go mode. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not GG, but definitely a go mode, and uh, wow, uh, that paid off immensely, whatever Ruby just did. Um, yeah, it just the, a swamp swim. the charge jump uh, lock pickup, and turns out to be grenade after e the Igor walk, and you have the Sorrow TP, so left side isn't a problem. Uh, it's only a matter of uh, getting into horror. He knows where the Sunstone is if he didn't recover that, I'm not sure if he did yet. And, uh, yeah, you know, the, after that, go to Horu, get your water vein. If it's not stomp locked, you're in a good position. If it's L2, ouch. <laughs> you're going to have some fun. Uh, there's still, there still are some places in Horu where uh, this will be very awful for Ruby to get. Uh, but uh, we are playing on the 4.0 beta, so free jumps are a thing. So actually executing the grenade jumps not going to be the problem uh, in terms of just getting the grenade jumps off, but like lining them up and doing them quickly uh, might be an issue. Uh, he's going to make sure he places a save here because this is a uh, bit of a finicky uh, climb charge jump. Does take the damage, but does get down to the tree. And we are seeing person uh, going for the Igor walk. So he is on his way uh, to getting charge jump from... Uh, the butter cell and starting to catch up here. Uh, Ruby circling the black root sunstone hint here. I'm not sure if he remembers that he knows where it is or whether he's like, oh, uh, okay, there it is. Yeah, I gotta go he back for it, that. kind of deal. Yeah, one of the two. But he, it looks like he will be just clearing trees for now. Um, yeah, using the the mouse aim for the um, cl uh, climb charge jump, I believe. Mm -hmm. And at least looked like it. But with that skill set, should have absolutely no problem with the left side. Misty could be a bit tricky with the with the spy corridors, but he has a lot of health, like nine health. Uh, he does not have the ultra defenses mentioned. He did go into the purple tree. Yeah, um, it, it's the ability cell count, I think, for Misty that's going to be the bigger concern. Uh, just in case he does need to pull off uh, zombie Ori's, but with some iframe abuse off of uh, the rekindles, uh, might be able to pull it anyway with this amount of health. So 
We'll see, but yeah, tree rushing for him for sure. Just needs to be careful not to die here. And he does not have um, our trusty friend Wilhelm here, but of course has the climb charge jump, so that isn't an obstacle. <laughs> Person Bird still sure is. With Igor. Yeah, th this this is him. not an easy trick to get uh, unless you're practiced at it. Yeah, and it's one of those tricks that you need to have done a few times to really know how to set sure. it up. I do believe you need to get I Igor onto the jump pad to have the optimal uh, jumping off, but I could be wrong. This is very finicky, and every time you get it, it's amazing. Uh, everyone who gets it is amazing, in my opinion, so hopefully Pitty will get it as well fairly soon. Yeah, he's been close a few times. Uh, like, that was pixels away, so, like, he's got the right idea. Uh, it's just a matter of time, I think, for him. Ruby did get uh, past bird boss number two and placed the save above uh, the rocks there, so he is going to be defeating the kill plane and moving on in all likelihood to Misty. Uh, depending on how he feels, at least for his positioning, might do a few checks, see if he can't get lucky and find double jump or something. Uh, in lower valley but otherwise i anticipate uh, a move to misty here as person left side still struggling with igor whether or not he'll go for the double igor or the sea flame redirect is a question that we will have an answer to in short order he's gotten real close here a few times uh just needs to adjust his positioning ever so slightly and then he'll be able to get it and yet indeed ruby with the terror jump says the Grenade jump into Misty is indeed executed. Uh, will he go for the log here or just continue on? Looks like he might try and bait the log. This is not going to be an easy redirect for Ruby to pull off without dash, uh, but it is possible. Yeah, and just needs to be careful not to kill the frog, but has the right idea. Just needs to hope for good sign RNG and pull it off correctly. Do you believe there's a very precise climb charge jump angle that you can pull off, but uh, uh, no shame doing this. Yeah, I think I've seen Muffin do it one or, once or twice. Uh, I've never been able to pull it off myself, but I haven't tried it in a long time because I thought it was impossible. So um, this might be a, also just a knowledge thing for Ruby. Might not be aware, like because I wasn't aware of that climb charge jump myself until uh, a few weeks ago. Um, and it looks like he's going to just bail on the frog for now, uh, which is acceptable. You don't want to spend too, many, too much time on a trick when you have grenade jumps at your disposal. So we'll continue on to Misty, continue pushing uh, the trees. And uh, yeah, I don't anticipate Forlorn just yet unless uh, the water main ends up being stomp locked. Uh, damage boosts up to R1 are very possibly a thing via grenade jumps and climb charge jump shenanigans and oh god I really hope it's not R1 because that's awful uh, and by that I mean I really hope it's R1 because <laughs> they're the ones that are suffering not me but uh, we'll see how it plays out. Uh, person is committing to this trick I like it uh, has decided this is probably where progression is we know that's where progression is and is going to continue hammering away at this uh, until he gets it yeah, definitely some determination, and it also goes to show um, the mentality. Like you, you have to good, have to uh, be good mentality-wise to just stick to this trick for whatever long uh, person has now been doing it. it. It's probably approaching like six or seven minutes at this point, and mm -hmm. he's still going at it and still trying his best. <sighs> I'm definitely hoping for you to get it, person. You can do it. Uh, Ruby, meanwhile, on to tree number eight, is approaching it. And the last two trees are, of course, um, a bit of a challenge. We have Grenade Tree, which actually should be doable with the skill set he has now, but has tried before. And, of course, uh, Bash Tree, which we have to visit Horror first for. So. Yep, that's going to be the question mark. Uh, oh! He... oh! Almost. Almost. All right, so this one... teasing him. I like this from Ruby. He set the save position very close to the spike so he could abuse the iframes uh, to get a little bit deeper into the spikes without taking damage. And then he does a short hop charge jump, 
followed by a weave through the spikes, only two hits worth, and gets it very nicely. I believe that was third try for him. Uh, very well done from Ruby on that 10 HP. Probably not going to worry too hard about Ultra Defense at this point. A little bit of a buffer as well with that health regen pickup. And we'll get the Climb Tree. I don't anticipate that we are going to see him continue on in Misty as he does double check his trees uh, that he needs to go for. And you can see the clues there. Water Vein and Haru and Sunstone is in Blackroot. We know where the Sunstone is. It is in the Blackroot main room. Uh, ability cell, so not even Pine Grenade uh, further deep in Lost Grove or anything like that. Uh, so just needs to go to the Glaze TP, pick that up en route to Grenade, and then off to Horu for him. <clears throat> in the meantime, uh, if you are joining us a little bit late, progression is charge jump behind uh, this Igor lure uh, to get to Butter Cell, and um, then Grenade is over at the charge jump locked pickup over at the Stomp Tree. And that is where we are at in terms of skill differential currently. Uh, just a quick check on Dash Plant for Ruby oh, no. as well, in case it's anything. It oh is no! Not. Ruby hmm? is skipping the sandstone. He might oh, have no. forgotten. Oh no. That is uh, actually good news for person, though. Yeah. Um, Although Ruby definitely has still a big advantage. I think Ruby got charge jump at around the 30 two minute mark or something maybe f 35 um person still hasn't gotten it but yeah if he's doing the entirety of uh black root before um realizing that he had that pickup there uh that is definitely a bit of a time loss for him yeah but good news for a person though that's gonna take him probably i want to say you know eight or ten minutes to full clear the rest of Lost Grove, so if person gets this like basically right now, uh, it's not bad uh, at all. But uh, he's got to start getting. He's, he needs to get this in short order, basically, I, because once Ruby full clears the rest of Lost Grove and then remembers where the Sunstone is, um, it's not going to be long before he's in Horu. And then the question becomes. Uh, how much time does person have before the water vein is found? And is it stomp locked? If it's stomp locked, oh boy. We've still got a lot of race left ahead of us. This is by no means like out of reach for person, uh, but it is starting to get to the point where he needs a little bit of luck. And and uh, of course, hint number three is that the Gumon seal is in Misty. So oh no, is that first pickup. <laughs> we have to go beyond. Uh, the climb tree, which uh, if if stomp is locked, definitely looks to be the best option because you don't want to do all the bad tricks. Okay, and Ruby remembering that sandstone is in the main room, maybe just wanted to get the grenade tree first. So uh, yeah, that that time is not on person's side. Can now immediately head towards um, Horu and figure out whether that seat will still be another hour or whether it's over relatively quick. Um, Imagine though the second revisit to Misty for Ruby, the person might not have to do. <laughs> that would even things up in a real hurry. Well, yes, but also that would mean that person's ninth tree would be Misty, um, which would have to happen first. Like, mm -hmm. True. Uh, that trick, dang, Igor really, really not playing nice here. Just, uh, oh. yeah, it's so heartbreaking. Is, it, it, it's, it is, it's tough, and it's understandable that he's struggling with this. Um, especially if you're not practiced at it, like, it's, it's super not easy. Uh, Ruby opting for, uh, the hilarious strat of using Spirit Flame to charge up the Baneling. Uh, to get him to break the wall instead of doing the uh, faster sea flame redirect, but uh, I like it. I like it because it's it's a lot more funny to see the supercharged bandling rush. Uh, Ruby only has four HP. Does get saved by the Faranki, uh, which took the hit off of the bandling, so Ruby didn't have to worry about taking a bit of a nasty death there. Does grenade jump across her fields, entering Horu now at the fifty minute mark, even putting the key in the door. And if the water vein is like super duper accessible here, like the first four pickups, uh, it's totally GG. But if it's anywhere further up, or uh, person definitely stands a chance. Like getting infinity by this trick is as disgusting as it is. Um, 
it's not as bad <laughs> in some respects as having to do a uh, grenade jump Horu to go to R1, or worse yet, finding out after grenade jumping all of Horu uh, that the water vein is not blocked. Uh, so, still, still opportunity here for person, but uh, yeah, he's looking to need to try and get this uh, oh, a little bit sooner. Oh, oh. Whoop, whoop, whoop! Hey, oh. part one is done. He did it. Okay, now okay, place a save. Get out of there and save. place a save. Please save, person. Okay. All right, he's good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. Alright, he's Best and guy. he still has Igor alive, so he can uh, lure it if he wasn't comfortable with the uh, redirect off the spider. Um, yeah, it looks like he's going to opt to take Igor. How did that? I thought that spider took a shot to his face from his own shot. Uh, it turns out it didn't, and unfortunately, person moves too far away from Igor and he despawns, so he's got to go uh, grab him again. Uh, first few pickups here, however, in Horu have been Donata for Ruby, so we are going to have to go up uh, further into the Mountain of Flame. And being chased by a band is not fun while you're doing that, and uh, oh, okay, sure, get stuck there, that's cool. <laughs> Finding every place in Horu you can get stuck in is always fun. Um, going to climb up, did he check door warp actually? I... I don't uh, I him. didn't I did not see door warp. I was keeping an eye on person because I was super excited that he finally got Igor up there. Yeah, same. <laughs> uh, we'll get an update from Chuck here in a second. Uh, looks like he did not. Uh, <laughs> man, that would suck. You full clear horror just to realize it's the door warp. Uh, highly unlikely, but uh, man, that would be hilarious and also bad. Yeah. All right, so Igor is through. Uh, thankfully, does not get demolished by the Rhino. It is immune to the Rhino damage, so that is cool. Part two is complete, and the floor is broken, and charge jump is acquired for person. Glad he stuck out with that trick. Uh, I would have been very sad if he decided to try and bail and go check other things, but he got it. And now he's got access to a whole bunch of different things, and all likelihood is going to take a similar path to Ruby and uh, navigate his way over towards Stomp Tree, which will get him Grenade, uh, which will put him on skill parity. Uh, tree Advantage still well, well in the hands of Ruby, though, just has uh, Bash Tree left to go, as you can see on the tracker below the screen. Uh, well, oh, double jump, super nice! The nicest pickup you can get in Master, let's go! <laughs> yes! Immediately going for the triple jump skill, using it, it, it's so nice, especially in horror. Uh, just being able to stall in the air is so great. So we'll be really happy and... I mean, it's kind of guaranteed if you go through horror to find it, especially uh, since you will go uh, bottom to top in Rando, usually. And yeah, you, as you said, it looks like person is indeed going towards the um, stomp tree, so we'll probably find grenade in short order and then catch up with trees pretty much uh one thing i didn't know about 4.0 which i just learned is that that laser where uh ruby found double jump uh is a 4.0 thing where it turns off so uh opens up another check that you don't need uh quote unquote need bash in order to be able to get or charge dash or something so very nice uh he's going to be doing the sensible thing and clearing things that are easy to access, uh, including this cutscene here, and then the plant down below. Uh, what's the ability cell count? Four? Okay. Uh, Ultra Defense is in the pocket for Ruby if he wants to get it. Might keep it for Zombieing, uh, which would be probably a somewhat decent decision, uh, just because of what is left in Horu. Uh, does get another ability cell, which uh, of course is comfy to get. Uh, you will never complain about seeing ability cells in Master. Dropping down and the plant is another ability cell, so now he's got six. And grenade acquired for person. He's got the Triforce. And uh, nope, saw it out. He doesn't even want to throw that grenade to check the grenade lock pickup. He wants to go and hit trees because he feels behind, which he indeed is. Yeah, I mean, being 55 minutes in and just finding the next two steps in logic, you definitely have to be a bit worried about mm. your position. And Ruby is now going for the door warp XP. Is gonna kill a mini boss choosing violence and 
Gonna make sure this minibus. Oh god, it got the best of the me. minibus chooses violence. Yes, it definitely did. Uh, hopefully, the second try works better. Better. I do think he is trying to go for the uh, setup where the minibus gets a lot of damage from the other spitters. Does get it this time, and a person is continuing in black route. Um, I am not sure what he's doing here. Maybe he's, he's hoping to find Glide uh, or Somp directly for horror. Yeah, or it could just be a resource thing here. A um, couple quick checks uh, that you get behind the lasers here and uh, with that grenade puzzle at uh, the frogs. Uh, I would be surprised to see him go deeper in Lost Grove. He did open up uh, his alt P and saw that he already had collected the sunstone, so he knows about it. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, to, is he, what's he looking for? Is it resources or skills? And I think at this point it's uh, probably a little bit of both. Just an energy cell on door warp and Ruby takes the uh, save scum death uh, to come back up to the uh, R4 area and will commence the damage boosting all the way up to the right side. Uh, he does not have stomp so he cannot check uh, R2, uh, which is definitely a thing I have not forgotten ever in a race. Uh, and now he gets the fun bit, <laughs> trying to get up to R1. He's gonna skill uh, Ultra Defense to be able to take some more hits, but that also means he can't zombie up there. Uh, of course, getting to the Mapstone Altar is only the first part. Uh, the second part is arguably the worst one. Uh, but even that part just absolutely sucks, so... Yeah! Plenty of opportunity for a person to catch up, and as we mentioned, if Stomp is on the table because we need it for water vein, then the race is open again. Oh yeah, it's it's still not decided yet. Not until we see where the water vein is or isn't. Um, and that is going to be up to Ruby for the meantime. Uh, I do like this from person though, for the most part, it is just going to be uh, shoving his face towards trees. Uh, to try and catch up on that, and then uh, probably follow Ruby into Horu. Definite advantage here for Ruby, though, uh, for the time being, but if it is a stomp block water vein, as you alluded to, uh, still a dice roll. Uh, a weighted dice, to be sure, in favor of Ruby, but uh, a dice roll nonetheless. He's got the mapstone altar. Now, there's a couple different spikes over on the right-hand side that you can land on that will allow you to get a jump over top of this elemental here. Uh, it is not fun. He does have three ability points uh, available for zombie and what you want to do here ideally is what you just saw there where you set up off of that ledge for a climb charge jump and then you get up onto the there's actually a spike right below him there that you can land on safely. Uh, and by safely I mean not safely at all you'll take damage but uh, oh, oh yes I like that charge the grenade jump into the damage boost the health regen coming into play. Saving the day, he is alive, still has the bailing to worry about. Oh, he didn't get the redirect off the sea flame. Now he's gonna wait here. Okay. He can't save. You're still in danger. The bailing will break the wall. Ah! Come on. Chase it. Chase it. Oh my god. No. It won't climb. <laughs> he's gotta drop down and have a perfect sea flame redirect or just let it die. Let it die on the left side. Respawn. So you can place a save on the ledge. Yes, there you go. Okay. <laughs> oh, and there's the elemental. And then the <laughs> elemental comes in. Amazing. Um, All right. Our R1 access. Uh, it's not over yet. Getting to the energy cell and the cutscene uh, is not going to be easy. Uh, but it is doable. I like what <laughs> Person is doing. Person apparently is also heading into Haru uh, and wants to figure out whether he needs Stomp before uh, clearing <laughs> the rest of the map. Very good observation. Yeah, I like that uh, from person. Um, there, there is the other aspect of it where you might, you know, think you're missing progression somewhere on the left side, uh, which is possible. But um, at this point, you're also thinking, okay, well, I got grenade jumps and early sunstone, so progression is very likely behind the water vein. Uh, it's a bit of an either-or situation, I think. Uh, Probably, I would say the better decision uh, is what person is doing right now and just heading directly uh, towards Horu. Getting a few checks along the way to see if there's anything there that he wants to keep. Uh, does not want to keep 35 or whatever experience that it was. Uh, one more damage boost here for Ruby, but does not have the HP to pull that off, so he is set back to the Mapstone pickup. Uh, as Ori uh, gets a Lava Manicure 
And, uh, oh, yeah, okay, he got the jump over. Nicely done from Ruby. Uh, less than one HP, but turns out all you need is decimal points of HP and a dream, and you can get over here. And it's the water vein, R1 energy cell. Okay, that is GG. Um, there would have to be a lot of trouble in the final escape for that to not be over at this point, unfortunately. Yeah. But that that uh, call to go for um, Igor, I can just not stress this enough. If you have the possibility to go for Igor, do Igor. Um, he has yeah. such a big reward all the time. Like he, he's a thief, I swear. He's always got something yeah. behind his his ball. Yeah, you if you if you are in the tournament and you're not too familiar with the uh, lure definitely get familiar with it um mm -hmm. it turns out to be so important simply because you don't need any skills for it so it works in every single seat that the uh yep. siege and throws at you yep swamp tp is all you need and enough health to be able to do a damage boost swim that's it and ruby is going to be cleaning up a little bit of Ginzo here i imagine to see if bash is hidden here uh, in order to make the final escape a little bit easier or dash even um Grenade jump only final escape uh, is not easy. Uh, thankfully, with this amount of HP, it is uh, less daunting, but it is still nothing to be scoffed at. Ooh, first try. Sea Flame redirect on that projectile shot. Very nicely done for Ruby. That is not easy with Cyan RNG. Uh, it's going to be combating a mini boss, which most of the time is not a mini boss at all, and so it resumes. Uh, Person in the meantime isn't Horu. Uh, he's in the right area, you know, but he is definitely oh. behind the here. Oh, he's going to do. Yeah, I, I. This is such a lovely trick. Yeah, it Just... looks so fantastic. Um, if you get it, and the setup is relatively easy. You just need to know your angle, and knowing the angle, of course, is nothing easy. Yeah, the, the angle is the hard part of, the, of this first bit. When you have double jump to be able to cancel. Uh, your flight a little bit uh, and gain uh, air retention it's a lot easier um, not easy uh, but yeah of course uh, free jumps uh, will make the final escape easier for Ruby as well uh, again touching on 4.0 has already oh he's gonna have to do this again yeah because he saves come to the door or pick up so he's got to kill the mini boss again that's right and then after that he's on to the final escape with uh, G jump only pretty much and double jump uh Triple jump, yeah, they didn't get the extra double jump bonus pickup, so it will be a triple jump, grenade jump, final escape. Uh, person's pretty close to getting this, uh, just a little bit higher off of that last position, and he'll be good to go. Yeah, that was way too high, buddy. <laughs> uh, we'll get another crack at it. Uh, it does take damage on root, though. Uh, so, okay, well, it takes a death, so it doesn't matter now. Anyway, eyes on the right for Ruby's final escape. Yeah, with the- oh, and there's wall jump, of course. We we didn't answer the question, we didn't ask it. Oh, no. yeah. Um, My bad. <laughs> of course, every single skill but stomp or grenade can be on there. 337 XP on the side of person. Uh, Ruby choosing to go the left way, of course, uh, needs to be aware that there could be a pillar of lava. Just squeezes through. Has ma had maybe a the tenth of a second left. Um, can damage boost through here? Okay, e not quite that much, but doesn't need to worry about health too much since they found clean water pretty much at the beginning of the seed. Um, person realizing, oh, wanting to do the door warp, nicely done. Can now check uh, he one can more check pickup. the hanging XP, uh, but yeah, that you can't do the the stomp pickup. Ooh. He doesn't have double jump though. Yeah, <laughs> this oh, oh, no. might not quite be possible. And Ruby getting to the S bend um, with double jump should be no problem to get in there and into the water. Uh, even triple jump. Uh, can just see flame the fish, so no problem there. Person now using the sorrow TP to get to his next tree, whereas Ruby is about to finish out, and uh, that time actually looks pretty decent for Master. Um, yeah, not setting up 10. for the final grenade jump, but doesn't need to. GG. 
Very well done by Ruby. Sub 110, that's going to be roughly in the neighborhood of a 106.35, I think. Uh, which is very good master timing. Uh, and, you know, when Igor decides to lead you on to grenade jumps, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, you don't like having that climb to see flame start for 45 minutes, but uh, you do expect it when you do get climb sea flame to be sitting on it for a while. So uh, very well played by Ruby uh, overall. Uh, we will see in a moment uh, whether or not person is going to want to carry on with this once uh, he sees ruby cross that finish line in the race time and uh we'll see whether or not ruby wants to come in for a bit of a chat yeah it would be understandable either way if person wanted to continue this or not uh maybe just showing the uh si Jin who's boss but also <laughs> just deciding that after over an hour uh he might have enough of it uh, going yeah. through sorrow just collecting more trees right now. Uh, Ruby has now officially um, done one decision and no narrow hops. Aww. I'm a bit sad, but of course uh, they lose a bit of time, so understandable. Finishes with an official time of 106 and 33 seconds. So GG to him. Very well done, very well done, and we do have ruby in for a chat now uh, ruby gg and uh, as it turns out uh in master seeds as well as standard if you get uh wall interaction and blue break uh you're gonna be sitting around for 45 minutes <laughs> uh, uh, i honestly got very lucky and happy with the one track that i did that caused me to pull the lead yeah, you definitely pulled ahead. Uh, is Igor something you're familiar with, or uh, did you just decide on a whim to go for it this seed? Ever since I've learned how to do that lure and it kind of just finagle with it quite a bit, I feel a lot more comfortable doing it every time now. Yeah, especially, fair especially in Master a lot, because that can be expected in Master specifically, so... Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about it through the broadcast. Swamp TP and enough health, and that's all you need. You don't even need skills. Uh, very well done, of course. Charge jumping a power skill, leading you light, uh, directly to grenade, uh, which leads me to my question. Uh, with 4.0, are you uh, using manual two jumps, or are you doing the free jumps? I should be using manual, unless the key... Is there a different key binding you need to do for that, or...? I don't know. Because I've been trying to do it... For. I've been trying to do it manually, so okay. every time I got it, though, so I'm not questioning it. But I'm mm. confused by that, though, because I do know I have some problems with it. But most of the times when I did play in the past was on 144 hertz, so the game the timing is a lot shorter on that. But oh yeah, yeah, um, that might have actually uh, in the long run helped you with your consistency. Uh, it should be the same place where you find your. Um other settings uh for rando tech uh that you can check what what it is going to be for that um, i'll check that real quick and riser mm -hmm. rebindings um, yeah no it should be in, in the settings grenade the plus TXC. jump i don't i don't think so well maybe someone oh. chat knows <laughs> oh. neither shave nor i play on 4.0 unfortunately uh, Fox is saying it should be a custom binding that you set up. I see so. in my settings it says free grenade jump, grenade plus jump, but I don't have a binding for both of those like at the same time. So mm, okay, yeah. So uh, you're likely just uh, a god at uh, grenade jumps now because of the 144 jumps. Um, I have one question for you, considering what? your skill tree. Actually, uh, we saw you in in Grotto early on, going for the sea flame burn. Did you try to get to the plant next to the uh, teleporter, or did you have uh, ulterior move uh, motives there? I was thinking that at that point I was running out of plants and progression to check, and so I know that in Master, getting that sea flame burn is considered. Um, is necessary for a couple checks and so i figured i might as well get it now because i've done the few couple plants that i knew i could check without it and i wasn't sure which ones i still needed or which ones specifically need that 
That is fair enough. Were you concerned that you'd need ultra defense at uh, any point, or was that clean water the go for you to be able to skill whatever you want? I was concerned about ultra defense early on, um, but then once I found charge jump and had climb and clean water, I figured the only thing I would have to worry about is spikes in upper sorrow. But then Sorrow TP kind of eliminated that, so... I was yeah. expecting double jump though, because that's a pretty common skill to find in Master Seeds, and I do like having triple jump. Yeah, super comfy. So what did you think of the placement of double jump and then leading to the placement of Water Wayne? Is that uh, something you're familiar with, climbing horror like that? Nope, th not at all, so... <laughs> I'm usually okay going up to the third level from the bottom, so R2, L2, but going all the way up to R1, L1, uh, that's usually not something I have to try and get up with limited skills. Oh, person, by the way, is in Horu, and uh, he overshot a bit and went over R4. He still hasn't checked it, so he uh, still hasn't gotten his double jump. Hopefully he will be able to check it. I think finding double jump there was really big, actually, in R3, so... Yeah. It looks like he's trying to head in that vicinity, just uh, not finding a replacement for getting a good angle on it. Uh, it takes out the elemental now, so uh, he'll have a little bit of an easier time. Uh, and then just goes all the way down to the mini boss off of a uh, ceiling boost. Uh, could just be having fun with grenade jumps at this point, who knows? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, fair enough. They are yeah, great. true, like, true. Funnily enough, out of all of the Master Seeds that I've done for practice, I've never had the ability to do grenade jumps, so... I mean, to be fair, it's a very powerful skill combination, so... Um, and the rando, and especially in Master, the rando avoids these, so... I'm not mm -hmm. too surprised um, that it doesn't appear very often. But it is still funny to see. How, were you happy about the grenade jumps? Is that one of your favorite techs? Or, uh... Not particularly, but I do know it allows some faster movement. And definitely a couple crossing um, some gaps and whatnot. Like I know grenade jumping across horror field, uh, horror field entry is something that's in Master, I believe. Yep. Other than that, it's kind of nice to be able to use it in place of like rocket jumps, but... It's also not as um, flexible, depending on if enemies are nearby or not, or if there's a wall you can grenade oh. jump off of, or rocket okay. jump. Oh. Person just did a really nice weave that I just wanted to point out. He um, went from the spikes under the R4 rock up to the um, activation of it with just a charge jump. That was really nice to see. And, uh, just for, okay, he's gone to the menu now, yep. Uh, person has DNF'd, uh, he's decided he was done with this seed <laughs> after, uh, checking that cutscene. He's like, I, I don't want to do a love horror in front of the water rain, which is totally valid. Uh, but we do have him, uh, on deck, we'll drop him on down into the live channel. Uh, person, welcome on in. Uh, GG to you, uh, well played overall. GG? GG. GG's. So, we'll ask the obvious question. Um, you, you spent, I think it was around seven or eight minutes on that Igor jump. Um, how practiced were you at that uh, coming in? And were you aware that it was a possibility you could get uh, nailed by it? Um, so, I, I didn't... I haven't really practiced it that much. I had one seed, like, a long time ago. Yeah, I learned that. So at least I knew that was the only pickup left. Mm -hmm. Um, and I guess I just got a bit unlucky at that one. So, because that that was more one of the more uh, tricks I haven't really practiced that much. Fair enough. No, that's, that's totally valid. I mean, like you're coming in playing uh, master seeds anyway and having fun showcasing it. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the record, uh, Bash was for Learn Escape. Glide was uh, top Ginzo, uh, lower left XP, so uh, to the left of the courtroom. Uh, Stomp was in Ginzo Escape, and Dash was L4. 
Oh, I, I was wondering where the water vein was, because that was like the last thing I needed to find before finishing uh, this. R1 new... energy cell. So you were in for a ride oh, to get it. Oh, that's... wow. Yeah. Wow, okay, I'm, I'm pretty impressed at the one hour finish then. Wow. Uh, double jump was uh, our right next three. to you. Yeah, right next to where you were. Once yeah. you finish that cutscene, I believe it is. Oh, I forgot to just... check the lava. But... Oh, the laser. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot it turns off. That's something from yeah. four point oh. Yeah, I haven't yeah. had enough whole experience. <laughs> yeah, that's that's totally fair. I just learned about that uh, five minutes ago. So. <laughs> One of the few things I remember hearing about four point oh. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, there's yeah. The lasers turn off there, and then there's also on casual one of the lava climbing with the elevator you can get the plants beneath that those are the two horu changes i know in 4.0 mm -hmm. wait you could get the the what the plants the underneath the lava the lava fall mm -hmm. next to the elevator on casual difficulty that is that lava oh, okay. blocking it is gone so at least i believe that's mm -hmm. still the case that is interesting yeah, it's definitely great to see that uh, Haru gets even more accessible in 4.0. So, uh, generally speaking, are you a fan? Uh, are you two a fan of uh, Water Vein Horror seats? Uh, Setting with you, person, maybe? Well, I usually tend to lose so much time in Haru that it's not funny, but in Master Speeds, I thought it wouldn't be that bad because you can't check that much. If only grenade drops, but uh, it turns out I was super one. <laughs> uh, yeah, a, a lot of horrors available with grenade drops only. Uh, <laughs> this is true. Uh, Master is is a bag of surprises every time. Honestly, um, mm -hmm. it's just amazing to see how many little details there are. So. Great job on navigating the seat to both of you, and uh, GG to you, Ruby, for winning. Um, person, since you're unfortunately out now, what are your plans in terms of Ori, and will you continue playing Master now? Well, ma ma Master seats are still fun. Um, I felt like I had a pretty good grasp on the logic, so... I, I don't know if I will continue playing Master, but I will for sure just keep on playing Rando. Maybe I'll play some more Plandos now. <laughs> yes. And uh, Ruby, to you, do you have a preference for your opponent between uh, Baron or Infinite? Not particularly. I feel like for Baron, I'm a little bit more concerned because of the numerous Plandos that they've made, so they have quite a bit more experience in terms of very specific or um, up to his tricks, basically. But otherwise, no real preference. Fair enough, fair enough. Alrighty. Uh, with that, I think we are toasty. Uh, in six and a half hours, we are going to have Tuin versus uh, the lead organizer of this tournament, Liftoff. Uh, and I will be on truck for that. Uh, comms are going to be, uh, I believe, Apple and Two Kill is going to be coming back. Exactly. So, yeah, thanks Apple for restreaming that, and uh, see you all in about six and a half hours. We had Fox and Liftoff helping out on the track, so hopefully Liftoff can get in a bit of sleep before his race. And uh, yeah, we will see you then for more Ori action and. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, have a good night, and uh, see you all very soon. Bye -bye.